ever walk into a room and find your cat staring intently at, well, nothing? Like, what are you looking at? Turns out they might be reliving a chase, a hunt, yeah. some big adventure, even if the biggest thing they've stalked all day was a dust bunny. It's those instincts, you know? Buried deep down. Exactly. We're diving deep into that today. Indoor cats versus outdoor cats. Their lifestyles are so different. But how does that actually change their behavior, their health, even how they are with us? Fascinating stuff. It really is. This yeah. article we've got goes all in. Like, did you know that outdoor cats, they aren't just wandering around out there. They have their own little societies, hierarchies, even territorial spats. It's true. And it gets even more complex than that. There was this one study, really fascinating, where they were watching these outdoor cats. And one of them, a member of the colony, passed away. The other cats, they displayed behaviors that looked a lot like grieving, you know, like we see in other social animals. No way. See, that's the stuff I never would have guessed. Yeah. So our indoor cats, the ones we spoil rotten, they're missing out on all that drama. In a way, yeah. Think about it. Their world, it revolves around us. They're humans. Sure, they might have a playful tussle with another cat in the house if they're lucky, but it's not the same. It's not that layered social interaction that you get in the outdoor colonies. So what does that actually look like in their behavior? What am I missing with my little guy? Well, outdoor cats, they're constantly on edge in a way that's good for them. They have to defend their territory, figure out who they can trust, decode all these social cues from other cats, keeps them sharp. Indoor cats, not so much. They might get bored, even anxious, because they don't have those outlets for their natural instincts. Makes sense. It's like if we hung out in one room all day, every day, right? We'd get a little stir crazy. Exactly. And that's why it's so important to keep those indoor cats engaged. Puzzle toys, things they have to climb on, even just things to bat around and chase. Got to keep oh. them stimulated. So the outdoor cats are living it up, sounds like. But what about their health? I mean, I figured they're getting tons of exercise, but this article says it's not always a walk in the park. Indoor cats, on the other hand, they're at risk of getting overweight, even, get this, feline diabetes. Diabetes? I had no idea. It's a real thing, unfortunately. Indoor cats, they're living the good life, lounging around. And then we, their loving owners, we pile on the treats, right? Next thing you know, they're packing on the pounds. So are we supposed to put our cats on a diet? I don't think mine would be too happy about that. Well, it's about finding that balance, isn't it? We want them to be happy, but we also want them to be healthy. It's a tough one, right? Like, I'm not trying to give my cat a complex or anything. Right, of course not. But this article, it mentions something called environmental enrichment. Sounds fancy. What is that exactly? It's actually pretty cool. It's all about bringing the outdoors indoors, not literally, of course, but creating a space where your cat can act on those instincts, you know, the hunting, the climbing, all that jazz, without having to actually set foot outside. So, like, what? Yeah. Turning my living room into a jungle gym. Well, not quite. Think vertical space. Cats love to be up high, right? So things like cat trees or even just shelves on the wall strategically placed so they can climb, look around, feel like kings and queens of their domain. Okay, I see. What about the whole hunting thing? My cat's version of hunting is batting around a crumpled receipt. There you go. It's all about tapping into that. But also Puzzle feeders are great. Make them work for their food a bit. And those toys, the ones they can chase, stalk, maybe even catch every now and then, those are key. It's like tricking them into getting enough exercise. Exactly. And the best part is, every cat's different. You get to figure out what makes your cat tick, what they really go crazy for. Some cats, they're all about those chase toys. Others, they might be puzzle masters, or they live for a good scratching post to really get those claws into. So paying attention to what they actually enjoy, not just what I think they should be doing. Exactly. Now, outdoor cats, they sort of get that enrichment naturally, right? Their world is full of things to explore, things to chase. Right. But this article made it clear it's not all sunshine and roses out there. Traffic, mean dogs, even just picking up something from another cat. Definitely some risks that come with the territory, literally. So if someone's thinking about letting their cat be an outdoor cat, what can they do to keep them safe? Well, for starters, those enclosed patios, those catios everyone's talking about, those are fantastic. It's like the best of both worlds. And I can't stress enough microchipping. If anything happens, at least you have a way to find them. And keeping up with vet visits, right? Yeah. Vaccinations, all yeah. that. Absolutely vital. You know, whether your cat's an indoor cat or an outdoor cat, I think the most important thing is just being aware, noticing if something's different, if they're behaving oddly. Like what? What should we be looking for? Well, if your cat's usually a social butterfly and suddenly they're hiding all the time, that's not normal. Or if they start grooming themselves obsessively to the point where they're losing fur, 
that's a red flag. So it's more than just, oh, Whiskers isn't eating his tuna anymore. Could be a sign of something bigger. Exactly. And the thing is, cats, they're so good at hiding when they don't feel good. Instinct, you know? Like, their wildcat ancestors gotta keep those weaknesses under wraps. So they could be hurting but not showing it. Exactly. By the time we see it, it could have been going on for a while. That's why those vet visits, even when they seem healthy, so important. Catch things early. Like taking your car in for a tune-up, right? Yeah. Better safe than sorry. A hundred percent. And honestly, your vet, they're not just there for shots and checkups. They're like cat encyclopedias. <laughs> Got a question about food, weird behavior, anything, ask them. They've seen it all. They're the pros. So we've covered a lot of ground here. Indoor cats, outdoor cats. It's not like one's better, is it? I Nope, not at all. Every cat's different. Every owner's different. It's about figuring out what works for you, for your cat, and keeping them safe and healthy. And paying attention. They're always talking to us, right? Yeah. Even if it's just a meow, could mean something. Exactly. We got to be good listeners. Our cats, they're amazing creatures, complex, funny, a little weirdos sometimes. It's about understanding them as best we can. Whether they rule the backyard or, let's be honest, rule our entire house. Every cat has a story. So next time you catch yours staring off into space, don't just assume it's nothing. Might be a whole epic adventure unfolding in their mind. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. Keep those questions coming, keep learning, and give your feline friends a scratch behind the ears for us.